scientific notation. Okay, we have standard form and we have scientific notation. Someone tell me why we would need scientific notation. Okay, it's called scientific because it's used in the science world a lot. But why? Give me an example of where scientific notation would be more acceptable than just writing the actual number. When it's like light years. Okay, light years. Like the distance light travels uh, in a year, okay, that's a big number, isn't it? Yeah. Would I want to write that number out? No. no. Because it, I think it has 14 zeros. I could be wrong. All right, it's a huge number. Why would I want to write that when I can write a small number using scientific notation? Give me another example, but not a big number. Okay? Give me an example of where a small number would want to be written as scientific notation. When you're looking through a microscope, you're talking uh, like a really small micrometer, right? Instead of representing that as a decimal where you have eight zeros in front of it, instead we only show the numbers that are significant, right? which is the last couple numbers, right? So this... 3,500. Are these zeros significant? Do these matter right here? No. no, they don't. Okay? So what we do is we eliminate our, our significant numbers and just write the insignificant numbers. We just write the significant numbers, which is 3 and 5. In scientific notation, their decimal is always behind the first significant number. Our first significant number here is 3, so the decimal goes right behind it. Then what I do is I count how many times do I have to move the decimal from here to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then that's how far the or how far up I raise the power to. So 10, I raise it to the sixth power because I moved it six places. Okay? So we we'll express this number in standard form. Okay, I'm making it from a, a small number to a bigger number. Okay, so I'm going to be adding zeros to it. My decimal is right here. I need to move the decimal place three times. So that means I'm going to add three zeros. So two times 10 to the third is the same thing as 2,000. All right, write these two numbers down. 6.8 times 10 to the fifth, I need to write that in standard form. So I move my decimal five times, okay? Well, if I moved it once, now I just add zeros, so I'm going to move it four more times, which means I'm going to add four zeros. So that gives me 680,000. You would think I had five zeros because this is raised to the fifth power, but you don't because you have to, you have an eight, you have a point eight. Okay? So if you move the decimal place five times, you add four zeros. Here, this is a small number getting smaller. Okay? When we have a negative exponent, we make the number smaller. This would be like using microscopes, that type of thing. So we move the decimal place four times, which I needed to go one more. So it means I'm going to add three zeros, so 0 0.000325. And I can check. Did I move the decimal place four times? Yes, I did. Any questions? Pretty easy, right? Yes. When it's negative, we go left, we make it smaller. When it's positive, we make it bigger. Okay? Now, they give us a number in, in sign, uh, standard form, we write it in scientific notation. Four million, right? I write the decimal behind the first significant number. What is the first significant number up here? Four. Four. So, I don't need to write 4.0, I can just leave it as four. Okay? How many times did I move the decimal? When I went from here to here, good. I moved it six times. So four times ten is six. Someone tell me what's 5,800 look like in scientific notation. Raise your hand. Blaine? 5.8 times 10 to the third. 5.8 times 10 to the third. Good. All right, I went from here. So here, so I had to move it three times. All right, point zero seven two. So my first significant number, someone is going to tell me, Nicole? Seven. seven. So I put a dot between seven and two. Seven point two. I raise it to a power, ten. All right. Someone raise your hand and tell me, Nicole? Negative two. Negative 
two, good, one, two. We went backwards, so we went negative. Okay, if you're making a small number bigger, then you write with a negative exponent. All right, now we get to multiply. So write these down. 3.5 times 10 to 6 being times by 1 times 10 to the 9th. So what I do is I multiply the like terms, the things that are the same, 3.5 and 1, okay, they are the same type of terms. So 3.5 times 1, someone tell me what it is, 3.5, okay. Then what I do is I times it by 10 to a certain power. If you remember, when you multiply bases, you add exponents. So I do 6 plus 9 here, which what is 6 plus 9? Riley? 15. 15, so 3.5 times 10 to the 15th power. Good. Easy enough. All right, write this one. All right, so here we do 8 and we divide by 4. What is 8 divided by 4? 2. What is 10 to the 5th divided by 10 to the 4th? We divide, right? So what do we do to exponents when we divide bases? We subtract. What's 5 minus 4? Okay. So 2 times 10 to the 1, which would also be, could written as 20. Right? All right? What you need to do, you need to write this down. And go ahead and answer the question. So we look here. We have geological time periods. Okay, we have four periods, Jurassic, Silurian, Tertiary, and Triassic. Okay, Jurassic is 2.08 times 10, 10 to the 8th power years ago, right? Silurian is 4.3 times 10 to the 8th years ago, and so forth. I need to figure out which one's the oldest one, okay? So here's what I do first. I don't look at 2.08, 4.38. I don't look at these numbers first, Okay. I look at the exponents of the ten and eight of these powers right here, okay? Because is eight going to be the same as seven? No, eight's going to be a bigger number, right? So that would be older, right? So now that I've I've eliminated tertiary as my oldest, okay? Then I look two point zero eight, four point three eight, or two point four five. Which one is the bigger number? Silurian, Silurian at four point three eight. No, no, I didn't. Okay, so Silurians are oldest. Uh, which one's the next oldest? Jurassic at 2.08 or Triassic at 2.45? Triassic, okay, because that is bigger. So Triassic is my next oldest. Someone raise your hand. Tell me what's next, Jurassic or Tertiary? Blaine? Jurassic. Jurassic, okay. Uh, because 10 to the 8th is bigger than 10 to the 7th, isn't it? Yes. So my youngest is tertiary because it has the smaller number at 10 to the 7th. Right? Even though 6.6 .6 is bigger than all of these, right? If I was to write each one of these out, which one would be the biggest? Slurian, right? That means that's the oldest. But if I move this eight times, that means I'm going to add six zeros. Here, I'm only going to add uh, five zeros. Okay? So that is why Silurian, Triassic, Jurassic, and Tertiary is in this order. Here you go.